Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bag collection. I wasn't going to do this video because I don't have a lot of bags, but I had a request recently to do my bag collection and I figured it's not a bad thing that I have not a lot of bags. And I think when we're seeing a lot of YouTubers doing collection videos where they have hundreds of something, we start to think that that's the normal and it's not the normal, it's very excessive. So I figured I would show you my bag collection. I only have four bags and actually for me that's quite a lot. I don't need four bags, but I have them and there's nothing wrong with them and I like them all so I keep them. So if you do like the content that I make please feel free to subscribe. I upload at least one new video every week and let's get started. Starting with the oldest bag in my collection, this is my little black bag. This is actually the biggest bag in my collection and this is from San Michelle. I got it in like the Boxing Day sales a few years ago and I think it was about $50 but that was the sale price. I really love how this bag looks. It has the gold hardware detail on it. It has the short straps but you can also choose to have the long strap. So the long strap you can actually unclip and completely take it off but the short straps don't unclip so they're always there. Inside it actually has a lot of different pockets so it has these two main sections and then it has a zip in the middle for another section a zip at the back with a little pocket and then also two like smaller pockets at the front and then on the back it also has another zip pocket so there's a lot of different compartments in this bag. This is generally what I will take with me if I have a lot of stuff or if I want to bring my camera somewhere with me because this is the only bag that fits a camera and the only bag that really fits anything more than a phone and my card holder. So yeah, this is my oldest bag. I think I've had it for about three or four years. Still really like it, still use it a lot. By the way, when I say a lot, I mean like weekends and holidays because I have a laptop bag that I take with me to school and that fits like my lunch and everything that I need for school in it. So I'm not using any of these bags during the week. The next oldest bag in my collection is this one here. Jonathan actually bought me this one. So this is from Forever New about three years ago as well. And I got this because at the time, the black bag that I just showed you was the only bag that I had and I wanted something smaller. I think this one was about $50 as well. Um, and it also has the shoulder strap that you can, again, remove. And then you could just hold it as a clutch. Or you can also shorten it with the buckle here and have it be a little bit of a kind of shorter bag. You can kind of like shorten it to about there. So this one obviously is brown, it's still nice and neutral, it still goes with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. This was my go-to shopping bag for a couple of years until I got the next one that I'm going to show you. This one has a little popper button to do up. Again it has the gold hardware. I prefer gold over silver so I really like that. And then inside we still have quite a few pockets. So we've got the two main pockets here. This one also has a zip and then there's another zip on the back as well. This one's much more of like a flat bag so I definitely couldn't fit my camera or anything like bulky but anything nice and flat like a phone, a card holder, I don't know what else, those are literally the two things that I always take with me. Um, and then I can fit my keys in the back as well. Definitely one that's had a lot of use and one that I still reach for quite a lot, although not as much as this next one. So this now is my go-to bag. This one is also from Forever New. I've had this one for um, over a year, I think. I think I got this early last year. As you can see, it is green, and when I got it, I was umming and ahhing like whether or not I'd be able to wear it with lots of my outfits, and then I realized that green is so easy to pair with other things, especially because I feel like this is quite a neutral green. It's not bright, it's not like neon or anything. It's quite toned down, almost like a khaki green. So I do find this very easy to pair with anything. Like honestly, I can wear it with this dress. So again, this this has the gold hardware. This one does not have the removable strap, so it just has the one strap which is a kind of long crossbody length, or obviously you can wear it on your shoulder and have it a little bit longer. The straps are adjustable. There's different little like holes that you can peg this bit through. It's not adjustable to like wherever you want. This one has the zip to do it up. But this one only has like the one pocket and it's got like a smaller pocket in there as well. So not as many pockets as the other bags. But this is my absolute go-to for absolutely everything now. So I literally pair it with all of my outfits. Unless I'm wearing a lot of green already in my outfit, I find that this will go with any color. I basically just use it as a neutral. Actually, I reckon I could fit my camera in this because it does like 
puff out a bit wider. It's not a flat bag like the last one that I showed you. I think this was actually $60, so this is probably my most expensive bag. But I've definitely had enough wear out of it for that to be worth it. This is the one that I reach for all the time. And then the last bag in my collection and the most recent one that I've purchased is this one. So I picked this one up from Japan from the Pokemon Center. It is a little Eevee bag and I just think it's so sweet. This is not a bag that I would wear in the rain. All three of the other bags have like that fake leather material where if they get a bit wet it will just kind of wipe off but this is like fluffy beautiful soft material so if this gets wet I mean it would be alright in a light drizzle but if it's like pouring with rain I would not be taking this one so this one actually has silver hardware didn't bother me enough to put me off the bag um, and it has a long shoulder strap but it is totally adjustable and you can also unclip it completely as well and just I don't know I guess you would just carry it like hold it I really do like a shoulder strap though especially if I'm shopping so I can just be hands-free worry about whatever else that I'm holding and know that my bag is just gonna sit there and be fine because I bought this in Japan I don't actually know how much it cost because everything was in yen and I probably did convert it at the time and figure out how much I was spending but I just can't remember being from the Pokemon Center though it's probably priced higher than it's actually worth but I really didn't care so it has one big pocket inside with no extra like smaller pockets in there but it does have one pocket on the back as well which actually has a see-through like plastic lining this is my novelty bag it's not really a fashion piece but it is more like a personal thing that brings me happiness. I wore it a couple of times in Japan and I've worn it a few times since we've been back. My kids at school love it but they don't see it very often because obviously like I have my school bag for during the week but I did wear this to like we had like a gala day at school and I wore it to that and my kids thought it was so cute. Again very neutral something that I could wear with anything if I wanted to. Just depends on my mood really like if I'm feeling in a cutesy mood then I will go for this one but if I really want to be like put together look more like an adult then this is not the bag of choice and literally those four bags are the only ones that I own my bag that I have for school is actually not mine it's one that I have from school and you know when I leave my job I need to give it back I wouldn't mind having a couple of extra bags I feel like I'm missing like a really bright bag I thought that green one was like my wild card different color when I got it but actually now I realize how neutral it is I feel like I could do with like a bright orange little clutch or I don't know something just really fun but then again it's really hard to choose something like that because then it's not gonna go with a lot of my outfits I feel like the four bags that I have I could literally wear any of them with any outfit and they always look great so for now I'm very happy with my bag collection there's nothing wrong with any of them there's a couple of loose threads on one of them but it's nothing but yeah anyway that brings me to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments how many bags do you have because I used to only have one bag at a time and I would literally use it until it completely fell apart like I would always wait until the lining inside the bag ripped probably because they were really cheap bags I used to buy them from like Kmart in the warehouse but yeah literally I would only own one at a time so let me know if you think four bags is excessive because at one point in my life I would have thought that as well anyway that is today's video and I will see you again next time bye